Boeing Sikorsky RAH-66 Comanche is the most lethal military instrument of the 21st century. Designed for low visibility, the sleek lines of the fuselage give the Comanche a radar cross-section some 600 times smaller than that of the AH-64. In the nose of the Comanche is a sophisticated second-generation FLIR or forward-looking infrared system. Two independent external inputs are swiveled to follow the head movements of the pilot and co-pilot, feeding information directly to their helmet-mounted displays or HMDs. An advanced software system integrates data from both a night vision system and FLIR to paint a highly accurate picture of the outside field of view, even in the darkest night. In addition to the HMD, the pilots will each have four displays in their separate cockpits. The two large displays can show engine status, navigation, and targeting data. A dual triplex fly-by-wire control system makes the Comanche one of the easiest helicopters ever to fly, as well as one of the most survivable in a combat environment. The internal weapon bays are capable of holding Stinger missiles, 70-millimeter folding fin rockets, or the Hellfire missile. The type of Hellfire used here is a laser-guided anti-armor missile designed specifically for the Comanche. On a standard reconnaissance mission, the six hidden hardpoints might hold four Hellfires and four Stingers. For attack missions, the Comanche can make use of an External Fuel Armament Management System, or EFAMS. The trade-off for an increased radar cross-section is the ability to carry an additional four Hellfires, eight Stingers, or 16 rockets on each of two external hardpoints. Sheathed under the nose is the Comanche's 20 millimeter Gatling gun. Designed to be used on either airborne or ground-based targets, the variable speed Gatling gun can deliver a devastating 750 to 1500 rounds per minute of depleted uranium with remarkable accuracy. Invisible, fast, fully computerized, able to fly and fight at night and in all weather, armed to the teeth with weapons and sensors, the Comanche is pound for pound the most lethal non-nuclear weapons platform ever designed. Welcome to Fort Rucker, Alabama. Starting today, you will learn to operate the U.S. Army's most advanced weapons platform, the RAH-66 Comanche Scout Light Attack Helicopter. Let's get started. The torque indicator displays the power output of the engines. Increase the collective until the power bar lies within the small circle. This will put the Comanche into a hover. Okay, ease in the collective and let's get going. The rate of climb indicator displays the rate at which your altitude changes. The ASL altimeter indicates your current altitude in feet above sea level. The AGL altimeter displays your current altitude above ground level up to 500 feet. Ease the cyclic forward and proceed to the start point. The ground speed indicator displays your speed in knots. The velocity vector shows the speed and direction of the Comanche. Looking good. Your waypoint indicator shows the name and distance to the next waypoint.
You can see some oil pumps in this little valley up ahead. There's a group of oil tanks down below. Go ahead and squeeze off a few cannon rounds. Good shooting. Try and stay low through this canyon, but be careful of its walls. Staying low or masking makes the Comanche harder to detect. Okay, we're coming up on a bridge. It's your choice, over or under. Good job. Up ahead is a forward area rearming point, or a FARP. Landing on a FARP will reload your Comanche. Let's give it a try. Your landing indicator will appear when you're over the FARP. The circle will decrease in size as you get closer to the center of the FARP. Gear is down. Waypoint stakes are visual references showing the location of the next waypoint. Let's move on to the ammo dump. The Comanche's best defense is stealth. Move quickly through wide open areas to avoid detection. Okay, target the ammo dump and switch to rockets. When your rocket steering cursor is over the target, fire. The rockets will aim up and down, but they will not aim side to side. Good flying, you're ready for the next step. Warning. <laughs>
waypoint. Get some altitude and proceed to the start point. This mission will teach you how to engage hostile ground units. Let's get to it. The weapon of priority indicator displays the weapon you currently have selected to fire. Your primary weapon for this type of mission is the Hellfire missile. The rounds remaining are displayed in the box directly below the weapon name. The situation display shows both friendly and enemy military objects. Red dots represent threat aircraft. Enemy ground units are displayed as yellow dots. Your teammate is displayed as a blue dot. The green dots are friendly units. When you're being targeted by the enemy, a red circle will flash within the situation display. That's your cue to take evasive action. Try to get behind a mountain or other piece of terrain to mask yourself from the enemy. Okay, your first targets are up ahead. Looks like there's two T-80s and two BMPs. When you get a solid box, the missile has acquired the target. Good shot. Now you've got to move fast. Finish the rest off before they finish you. Good job. Our next encounter is up ahead along the road. Shoot the lead vehicle to slow the convoy down. Use your 20mm cannon and finish off the soft targets. Excellent. Your final encounter is straight ahead.
Use your targeting system to locate and designate each target. It's a good idea to take out mobile SAM units first. They are your most serious ground threat. Mission accomplished. Good job. Now you're ready to learn the finer points of air-to-air -air combat. Welcome to Fort Hood. We've moved you here for the desert phase of your training. In this mission, you will be engaging enemy helicopters in air-to-air -air combat. Your primary weapons are the Stinger missile and your 20mm cannon. The Stinger is good for taking out air targets at longer ranges. For close encounters, switch to the 20mm cannon and cut loose. Your first target is a Hind. Select Stingers and stand by. Get him! Well done. Okay, we're going into the canyons. You've got a Ruivok coming up. 
Try taking him out with your 20 millimeter. to the open desert. Shutting your bay doors will reduce your radar cross-section. This time you've got two choppers to deal with. Okay, select stingers. Light them up! We've got two more coming in. Here is Dell. As part of your combined arms training, tonight's exercise is an artillery spotting mission. The Comanche stealth capabilities makes us ideal for this task. The Comanche has the ability to approach a target undetected, confirm position, call for fire, and verify destruction. Your first group of targets is an armored patrol. Proceed north up through this valley. Stay low to avoid contact with enemy air patrols.
Lace the target and we'll call for fire. Okay, the enemy is just up ahead. Okay, let's continue flying along the valley. There's your next target. It's an enemy command and control facility. Use your map to observe the target area. As you select each target and call for fire, choose targets in different locations. This will maximize the artillery's effectiveness over a larger area. After the initial strike, Fly over the objective and mop up any remaining targets. This is a Griffin 26 fire mission over. Copy Griffin 26 fire support out. This is a Griffin 26 fire mission over. Copy Griffin 26 fire support out. Griffin 26, fire support out. There's a Griffin 26, fire mission over. Copy Griffin 26, fire support out. There's a Griffin 26, fire mission over. Copy Griffin 26, fire support out.
Welcome to Alaska. Your final training mission is a team exercise. We paired you up with Griffin 27. Working as a team, you'll put your training to use in a real world scenario. Your targets include an armored column, enemy air support, and a strategic target. As a squad leader, you will be able to designate targets for Griffin 27. Okay, show me what you've learned. Two six, this is two seven. Contact, armored column, twelve o'clock. Roger, I got him. Two six, bandits inbound. Looks like a havoc and a werewolf team. You're almost there, only one objective remaining. Two six, this is two seven. We should be approaching the target area. There's a Griffin two six fire mission over. Copy Griffin two six fire support out. There's a Griffin two six fire mission over. Copy Griffin 26, fire support out. This is Griffin 26, fire mission over. Copy Griffin 26, fire support out. This is Griffin 26, fire mission over. Copy Griffin 26, fire support out. This is Griffin 26, fire mission over. Copy Griffin 26, fire support out. This is Griffin 27, I need some cover. Fire mission.
Griffin 2-6, fire support out. Mayday, 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 this is Griffin 2-7, we're going down. This is Griffin 2-6, fire mission over. Copy, Griffin 2-6, fire support out. Dragon 3-6, enemy is retreating. Roger that, Dragon 3-6. 